There's this extremely important aspect of investing that many new investors might overlook. Now, it's one of the most important things when it comes to purchasing, especially stocks on the stock market, because without this specific aspect of your investing game, it's likely that you stand to lose a lot of money. You might be asking, what is this specific thing that is important, especially when it comes to investing and for new investors to understand? And why is it that not a lot of people like to implement this within their investing? Well, that's what we'll talk about in today's video. And hopefully this information helps you to become a much, much better investor than you presently are now. So this specific aspect of investing that we're referring to is research and analysis. Now, not a lot of people like to do deep research and analysis into the things that they are invested into. And this is often what separates a successful investor from an investor that is not successful. You see, when you're getting into any form of investment, whether that be a stock or real estate or you're purchasing any other form of financial product, it's important that you do your research and analyze the investment to see if it fits your specific investment goals, if it fits your time horizon, and if it's a type of investment that your risk tolerance would be suited for. Now, not a lot of people do this level of research and analysis, and that can be the reason why many people end up losing their money when it comes to a particular investment. Additionally, it's also extremely important that you do research and analysis into the things that you're invested in so that you have an understanding of what you're getting yourself into. Now, this is why a lot of people get into things like Ponzi schemes or various other types of scams, and they'll basically get scammed out of all of their money because they really don't understand the thing that they're invested in or what to expect. Typically, if you're able to do research and take a deep dive into what it is that the company, business, or entity, or what the business proposal is all about, then oftentimes you can spot certain red flags and things within the business that might show you that, hey, this is not a good idea, and this is not something that I want to put my money in. Additionally, it might not necessarily be an investment that is suited for you. Maybe you're more of a reserved person and you don't really like to take risks. And the investment that you're getting into might be something that is high risk and may not necessarily pan out. So for these reasons, you want to ensure that you do your research and analyze the things you're invested in. Follow the Jamaica Investor for more investment tips and tricks. And again, thank you as always for the support. I do appreciate it.